Let's bring in now our Sky News Hobart reporter Elizabeth Bryan. She's at the Tasmanian State Parliament. And Liz, of course, that's where Christine Milne began her career some 25 years ago. What sort of reaction have you seen there in Tasmania? There's been plenty of surprise here in Tasmania, but hearing from many of those who are closest to Christine Milne, this hasn't come as so much of a surprise. She's looking to spend more time with her family, less time travelling, and of course more time uh, with the imminent arrival of her grandchild this year. But certainly a time to reflect on her political career, which, as you mentioned, began here at uh, Tasmania's State Parliament, where she fought for numerous environmental causes close to her heart in Tasmania. As the leader of the Tasmanian Greens, as the first female leader of any political party here in Tasmania, and uh, speaking today on the streets of Hobart and, and asking people about their reaction, it seemed regardless of their political beliefs, there was a respect for her strength of conviction and her fighting spirit for a number of Tasmanian issues. Let's take a listen. Rarely agree with Christine Milne's politics, but I do respect her position and she certainly advocated that very strongly over, over a long period of time. Well, I think she's put Tasmania on the map. She's been brave and had a gutsy identity over the years. It's not a surprise, but change is sometimes quite important. So certainly an end of an era, Ash, not only in Australian politics, but also here in Tasmania. Lizzie Bryan, live there in Hobart. Thank you for that.